Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, today I'd like to give you a quick introduction and a demonstration about the new feature I developed for Kubeless, uh, the the serverless native framework um, on Kubernetes developed by Vietnamese engineer. And the new feature today introduces the auto scaling with custom metric, and it apply on the Kubernetes version one of seven. So you all might know that Kubernetes support auto scaling with the SPA object, the horizontal post auto scaler object, but by default it only support for CPU and memory. Um, but in many situations we would like to scale our application based on uh, other kind of metric, for example the number of incoming uh, requests. Uh, so in order to do that I develop uh, this feature and I embed it in Kubeless um, in order to scale the function based on the custom metric. Okay, um, so this demo I uh, running Kube Kubernetes on Q by Kube ADM uh, using a Docker in Docker feature, and this script developed by Mirantis fork, and you can just clone this repo and uh, you run it up. Um, so I. Before the, the demo, I'd like to give you some explanation how it works. So basically, um, you already know, you might know, of the scaling need the monitoring system. And by default, it's your hipster, uh, the built-in monitoring service. Uh, but in order to have the custom metric, I use Prometheus. And, but then, you need a way you need a way to, to to let the SPA controller can contact to Prometheus system in order to fetch the metric. And in order to do that, uh, the Kubernetes version 1.7 introduced a new concept. It's called aggregator, aggregator layer. So aggregator layer is the concept to either the way to let you register the new the custom or our I call additional API server. So you already know that Kubernetes has the built-in API server, but now you can register the new one to the cluster. So if you have the custom API server and you have the Prometheus and you have the function or application expose the metric to Prometheus, and then you can you can let the, the API server fed the metric from Prometheus and then pass it to the API, SPA, a horizontal post auto scaler SPA controller. And then that is, it should work. Okay, but in order to enable and configure the aggregator layer um, and, and configure the SPA controller, you need a couple of configuration in uh, Kiv API server and couple of configuration in Kiv controller manager. So I wrote it here the tutorial and I list out the specific flag you know, to be set uh, to enable ev everything I described before. And also you need to register or uh, enable the auto scaling slash v2 alpha 1 API group in order to declare uh, the SPI with the custom metric and you do this with the runtime that's config flag in uh, Kube API server. So I do everything in my cluster. I have um, the cluster with one master and two minion and I already enable and configure the necessary uh, uh, parameter and I can check it here you can see Give system. Um, let's say I need to check the configuration of Kube API server, and you see here I enable the API slot all set to true, and um, I check the controller manager, and I see here. You see here I set this flag. Uh, so true. This flag means 
you configure the SBI controller to your REST client uh, in order to contact to the API server, and not contact to uh, the hipster. Okay. Um, so in order to check if you have uh, the auto scaling v2 alpha 1 enabled, you see it here. So you have every uh, you have the setting uh, properly, and now the next step you need to deploy Prometheus system, and you also need to deploy your custom API server and register it to the API. At the aggregator layer. Uh, so I reuse the Prometheus operator software developed by CoreOS, and so basically you need to deploy the Prometheus operator and the Prometheus instance. Uh, the whole the whole manifest I provide already in Kubeless um, repository under the manifest auto scaling folder. You can check it later. So uh, you deploy this one, and you uh, deploy the custom metric API server, and, and after that, the API server will register to aggregator layer automatically, and then you have this uh, API group enabled. So let's say I have everything uh, configured and enabled. Uh, I see you can see here I have Prometheus operator and Prometheus instance, and I deploy. Uh, the API, the custom API server at the custom metric namespace. You see it here. And in order to check if I have the new API group enabled, I use keeps control API version command uh, version, and then you see the new uh, API group here. Okay, so we are good. Um, the next step, I will deploy my function using keyless and then I auto scale my function with the custom metric I pick it up here in the function call the function call metric mean uh, the number of incoming requests to the function um, I have my keyless um, system uh, running in uh, oh, I didn't I don't have it okay we'll deploy it uh, create that f key flat are back we are back because we are we are in uh, 1.7 are you the 1.0 is our first beta release of keyless and I have it here and you can check it see uh, the controller running together with Jukeeper and Kafka um, so I will deploy my function uh, I think I do it if I did it if okay I will check it uh, we provide several sample function in a sample folder I will just deploy very sample uh, I will cd to a sample I deploy it and I see if I have the function here okay I have the function object is the third party resource object and I have the function part running and in order to check if the function running properly, I will just use keyless function call get Python is the function name, and you see it return hello world. So it's a very dummy function, uh, but it just shows you uh, it's running. Okay, so now I have uh, the keyless auto scale command. Uh, in order to provide to create uh, the auto scale rule for the function, and they have the sub command create here. You will see that I have a little bit. I will create, I point out the function name, the get Python, the minimum replica is 1, the maximum is 10, um, which was all the metric. Uh, keep in mind that currently Kubeless only support two metrics the first one default is CPU and the second one I call it QPS uh, stand for query per second or you have another meaning is the number of incoming requests per second and I will do this uh, I will use this QPS and I figure out the value the values e uh, the, the integer uh, number 
uh, so let's say I choose, I, I figure out, I set value equal 5, that mean you need to make sure that auto scaling feature work with the function to shove uh, 5 query per second. Okay, and now you will see auto scale ls or list and you see here the mean and the math and the metric the metric I call it um, we call it function call and the function call is the built-in metric uh, expo from uh, the function runtime and is passed to Prometheus under the select metric uh, URL and by theory um, the function metric the function call metric will be passed to Prometheus instant and then the custom API server we deploy before we fed that metric and pass it to API controller. So with the Kubelet auto scale create it under the hood it create SPI object. And you see here we have a new SPI object with the get Python name. Uh, point to the get Python function, only one replica. Uh, the target we need to wait a little bit. Uh, I think SPI. Um, I will try to call the function. Um, so uh, I think I have it. Okay, I have it here. Uh, it's say hello world. I call it another one, one more time, three times. Uh, maybe I have problem with. I will check Prometheus. Um, Okay, so I see that Prometheus can look into uh, the get Python function here and the state it up. Uh, maybe I've had problem with SPA. I will just check it. Describe SPA. Yes, I fail. Unable to get metric function call. Um, I'm not really sure. Okay, it takes a little bit of time, you know. Um, when I develop the auto scale feature, I figure out that the SPI controller loop is really long. I mean, it react to the chain in cluster very slowly. But at least it worked. Okay, so now the thing I would do is I increase the load to the function by implement a loop. Um, with that get Python ATAT done. I call to the function 1000 time and it say, Oh no, 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 hold on, no, done. That is done. Okay, so I call to the function 1000 time and we can see the load to the function will be increased. Um, it reacts a little bit slow, but you you win see it. Only thing we need to do now is just waiting for the SPI changing. Okay, we keep calling the function, and it should increase the number of incoming requests here, and then by the end, you can see the function part will be increased. Now you only have one replica of get Python. Okay, you see some number up here. Uh, I will just put it here. I use Kube Control Proxy to uh, open the the port and call the function with the localhost eighty eighty one. And mm -hmm. okay, is a little bit. A higher here and then you see the get Python is scale uh, so now you have maybe four times four instance of get Python okay and if we wait more time then you can see because we we doesn't call uh, we, we don't call to the function anymore then the SBA metric will be scaled down. You see here the replicas in four, but if we wait a little bit, 
it will down and down and then you have a number of get python uh, part will be scaled down so we wait a little bit okay so it's go down to zero and then it will automatically terminate some get python part um, so um, in this demo i just showed you the the, the quick tutorial uh, or step by step to um, configure your cluster and use kubeless uh, to deploy your function and give the auto scale command to setting the auto scale rule to your function based on the custom matrix uh, the incoming request per second you can you can definitely use the default uh, metric is CPU if you want and now right now uh, the SPA controller react a little bit slow so the next step would be I, I will try to figure out how to set the SPA controller properly to make it react uh, faster um, okay it still have four instant um, I think it should be maybe one more minute so the next step would be uh, optimize the SPA controller and the second step would be uh, support more metric like the memory consumption or something like that or whatever but the whole infrastructure uh, is the same you have you need to deploy Prometheus and you need to deploy the custom API server and you need to connect uh, you need to connect one piece of software you have in order to make the the smooth flow from the function runtime to Prometheus to custom API server to SPA controller that is um, I don't want to end the demo right now I need to wait I want to wait uh, in order to see the function being scaled out automatically so one more minute it should be terminating okay I give up and um, yeah so now the the Kivlet auto scaling feature already uh, commit to the Kivlet repo. You can check it out on uh, GitHub.com slash Kivlet uh, slash Kivlet. And PI, welcome. Thank you for watching. See ya.